Hey guys, this is Peter and well, a lot of you have asked me over time, what's the best gateway to get? Well, let's put that one to rest. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take my T-Mobile one and I'm gonna remove, put it back to its original configuration with the original antennas and benchmark it. And then I'm of course gonna test it with these leads to my best antenna. That's a waveform 4x4 MIMO. And we're gonna benchmark that as well. However, that might get us some really good scores, but what does it all mean if T-Mobile's still broken? There are some inherent problems with T-Mobile service. Carrier grade NAT is one of them. Getting a, a one of these devices that you can put in bridge mode, like the ELSIS that we see right here, uh, definitely solves that. There's also the Ecom uh, 610. I'm gonna test that as well. All with the same card, all within literally minutes of each other, so we can get a feeling for real grassroots, what the difference is. Uh, d people have asked me, what is the best gateway for the bang for the buck? Well, it's absolutely this one. It's the one they give you for free. But if you need glasses, well, then glasses are gonna help you see better. If you need port forwarding, if you need the ability to game, if you need access to different networks because of slowdowns, well, then there are other gateways. This Elsus one isn't a 4x4 MIMO, it is outside. So instead of spending $399 to make this one better, we're looking at $699 to replace the whole thing. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what the differences are. All right, so let's start with the Nokia gateway. This is exactly what T-Mobile sent me. I'm gonna use all the internal antennas. That's right, I returned it back to its factory condition. I've hooked up all the internal antennas so we can get a baseline. I'm gonna test the same modem again with uh, by adding antennas to it, again. And uh, I have a four x four MIMO, it's by waveform. It is the best antenna available. We'll see the difference that it makes. But then I'm gonna show you an, uh, an antenna that's outdoors by Yecom, and that changes the script. It flips the whole thing because it's an external modem. And so you have less signal loss and it's almost the same price as an external antenna. But guess what, it gets extra bands. It's able to do things that the original modem is not able to do. We're talking about port forwarding, correcting, uh, uh, well, it can go into bridge mode, so it can correct the carrier grade NAT issues that you're having. It'll correct the double NAT issues because it can be a modem only. But let's jump right into this and test it and see what we're getting. So baseline, here we go. We're gonna test out this uh, Nokia gateway. You can type in 192.168.12.1. If you have a different gateway by T-Mobile, I have other videos on how to use a program called Hint on your Android phone to get the same data. Here we go, I can see my two signals. Primary signal, that's 4G LTE. That's another good point. This one is a 5G NSA, which means not standalone. It means it's based off of 4G LTE technology. The first band is indeed 4G, and I'll put some numbers up here that tell you what we're looking for here. The number of bars is power. So reference signal received power. We're looking for, uh, yeah, we're looking for a better score than that. Negative 80 would be great. Negative 100 is acceptable. This is in the acceptable range. We should get some decent scores out of this. Uh, signal to noise ratio. We're looking for 20 would be nice. This is 7. Reference signal received quality. We're looking for negative 10. This is negative 11. Not a bad score. Um, there is some improvement that could be had. But this is a gateway that's sitting inside my home, exactly what T-Mobile would send you. So uh, reference signal received quality. This is a 5G signal. We're gonna get the bands in a second. But let's talk about the power of the signal. It's not bad, it's 110. We're really expecting negative 80. So this is not great. Signal to noise isn't bad though. We want 20, this is 15. So it's not quite there, but hey, it's in double digits, so that's good. Uh, and reference signal received quality. Again, negative 11 is really close to negative 10, so it's in the very good range. Uh, let's see, status. Primary signal is B2. B2 is an excellent band. Has a lot of bandwidth, but again, it's, it's 4G. Some of these new modems I've been trying out will do 5G SA, which is 5G first band and 5G second band. It actually not only is better, but it will continue to get better as this evolves. 5G hasn't rolled out yet. It's still rolling out. It's, call it an evolution. It's still coming to life. This radio that I have right now, uh, 
I keep looking over at it. This is my Stanley cup. It looks a lot like a Stanley cup. It's a silver little uh, cylinder, but it receives two 5G bands N71, which is low frequency, 600 megahertz stuff. And the best one, which is for, uh, N41. Some of the other ones get some things in the middle. It can be quite great if you're not able to get N41. But this is the best that most of these modems will do. Some of the later ones, like Sagemcom and the new one, the 4G AR, uh, can actually get N77. That's going to be next level. But again, it's all piggybacking off of 4G LTE. Uh, talking a lot, but let's just get right into it and measure out these speeds. Two good bands, decent scores. Let's see that equates to what? This is our baseline. Baseline once again. Let's see what kind of scores we get. All right, so this is inside my home, getting a ping of 25, which is not terrible. And these are not terrible scores. Uh, I was paying Comcast through the nose, by the way, uh, until I finally broke up with them. And I was getting 88 megabit. This is 230. That's fantastic. One of the worst parts about Comcast was the up speed. Up speed, I was getting 6 megabit. Up speed's more important now. Ever since the pandemic, we've been, well, Zoom calling. I work from home all the time. So Zoom or Teams, you need some up. And... So this is going to do it, actually. You know, that's not a terrible score. 19 up, yeah, it's going to be okay. But if you have multiple people working from home or if we ever have to distance learn again, well, ah. but hey, most jobs allow you to work from home. So this is key. This does work well with VPNs. I'm my favorite VPN. I'll put a link to it down below. It helps out my channel if you like it as well. Here, I'm going to turn it on just for fun. Boom. IP Vanish. Great solution. I'm going to pick Optimum Location. It's going to go ahead and figure out which one that is for me. And look, went all the way to Los Angeles. I'm in San Jose. That's hella far. It's like six hours by car. But let's just go ahead and show you what we're talking about. This is the best VPN that you can get for T-Mobile. I've tested them all. This one's very, very good. So here we are. We're running a VPN on top of just sitting in my house. Look, I'm still getting, I'm still getting 200. Fantastic. Very, very good. And the up speed is excellent as well. It's almost like you're not running a VPN. This has some great features like WireGuard, etc. I have videos on how I set it up, etc. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to do the exact same test and with, with me, my antennas. And I have a 4x4 MIMO antenna by Waveform. It's the best. I think it's $399. But this will take your scores to the next level. All right, so now I'm taking the same radio with the same SIM card, and look, my scores are much better. At least my power is much better. Look at that. Reference signal receive a quality or power is negative 78. That's why I'm getting four bars instead of two. Uh, my signal to noise is nice, and my reference signal to receive quality is very good. That's, again, a 4G signal. Here's my 5G signal. A reference signal receive power is good again, and signal to noise is excellent, and reference signal receive quality is very good. But what does that mean when it comes down to a score? Is that going to be, oh, again, what's what bands are these? This is B2 and N41. B2 is a 4G LTE band. It's important to notice because the, all of these modems, which whatever one you get from T-Mobile is uh, 5G NSA. So it's based off 4G. But I'm getting the two of the best. So let's see what the scores are like and let them fall where they may. Again, we were getting 237 before. We just walked right past it. We got up into 300s. And it's walking back a little bit. But uh, again, 237 is the number to beat. This is better, of course. 260 is definitely better than 237. And the number before was 19 up. So if you're working from home, if you need the ability to, uh, well, to work from home, this, of course, is doing much, much better. Uh, 94, 95. But again, you can't really do anything with this up other than to do Zoom calls. All right, because I have it, I'm going to take that same SIM card and put it in this. This is the Ecom 610. Uh, this is a great modem. It goes outside. It is a modem. It goes outside. It's powered over Ethernet. It can go much further than, well, uh, just an antenna. And the antenna cables come with either 20 or 30 foot lengths. And, well, everyone's afraid of signal loss. But this one 
the antennas are inside the modem itself. You have almost, almost no signal loss. You can run this up to 300 feet away. It's a great solution. I'm going to show you those scores. But hey, people have said, what do you say? There's 20 bucks to be saved if I get this one. No, I've talked to the guys. That, you don't want that one. Different chipset. Let's test the good one. Pay the extra bit. Uh, this is 559. And what you're going to see is some really good scores. Uh, let's go ahead and jump to that. And then I have another one I want to show you. This one is my new favorite. This is from Elsus. This is the Elsus Amplimax Ultra, and this thing absolutely cooks. This is a 4x4 MIMO as well, uh, and it also has a modem built into it. Both of these can go into bridge mode. Bridge mode is key because bridge mode allows it to act as a modem only. It allows us to correct the carrier grade NAT because we can put DDNS on our, our access point. Hey, I like using my own access point. I don't like using one that T-Mobile has give, granted us. You know, these modems, uh, well, these gateways are both a modem and a access point. The problem is I've got a bigger house than this and this doesn't reach far enough into my house. I much rather use my uh, I've talked about it many times. My Netgear Orbi, uh, it's a mesh system. It actually communicates to the two of them. It's great. I even got my mom one of those. Fantastic. Hey, T-Mobile, stay out of my house. I don't need you. I need you as a modem only, and I much prefer fixing it this way. All of the evils of the T-Mobile solution can be solved by going to bridge mode with an external one, and I've done just that. I'm going to take that internal SIM, put it in this one, Correct the values so that it'll work. And hey, let's go ahead and do that. All right, well, it's up on the roof and uh, let's go ahead and test it out. Let's see. Let's see what we're getting right now and click on this. We are pulling bands 25 and 41. This is 5G SA, so there's no 4G involved anymore. In fact, you can see all the 4G signals are crossed out. It is 5G on top of 5G. And yeah, as far as doing 41 primary and 25 secondary, we have no control over that with this modem. It's just, it is what it is. And let's see, what do we got? 82 is not bad. Eight, it's good. Signal to noise, 19, not bad. Let's see what that equals as far as score goes. So there's scores, and those were some good scores. Those are gonna be more consistent than your speed tests, but uh, they also let you know what kind of signal you're getting. There we go. Ooh, ISO 300. I see 350. Wow. Okay, 380. 390, 400. This is indeed a pretty fast modem. And the op has always been a little dis a bit disappointing. Um, 32, but so before we were getting 260 and 97. So this is indeed a different ball of wax, different channels. That's the reason to get a different modem is for the different channels. So they have different access. You can, of course, uh, block certain ones so you can get a more crafted experience. Also, you can put this one in bridge mode. It's not, I did a whole video on that. It's not as easy to administer it when it's in bridge mode. In fact, getting it to this interface is quite difficult when you're in bridge mode. Uh, but it can be done, and I did a whole video on that and explained how to do it. But I'd have to watch my own video to do it again. So uh, that's what it's like. I'm going to try out my favorite one, which is the Amplimax. Right now, it's been my favorite. Let's go and put the same card in there and wire it all up and see what happens. All right, well, I'm back. and it, Wow, uh, climbing up on that roof, it's such a hot day. But here's the Elsys. I'm going to go ahead and jump to this firmware, show you I'm getting really good signal and some really good bands, N41 and N25. This is 5G SA, which means there's no 4AG involved. This is a different depart departure from T-Mobile altogether. This fixes T-Mobile service, what they said couldn't be done. They have a thing called carrier grade NAT, which means every time I pull out my phone, I get a different internet address, which is great, because sometimes I'm in Tokyo, other times I'm in San Diego, or I'm just around the house. I want a local internet address. I want it to change. But when you're home networking, that's not so great. That can all be fixed. When you go to bridge mode, you'll get one IP address and you'll do NAT once, not twice. Uh, and so this is just a better scenario. Let me show you, here's the numbers to beat. Numbers to beat were 418 and 30. That was from the Ecom. The Ecom does a great job on the down. I, I'm really, 
like that. This was doing 5G SA as well, I believe. Do I have that screen still up? Oh, it doesn't, it's not filled out anymore, but I believe it was 5G SA and uh, it got some decent scores, but the 30 is a little weak. I need more upload, especially now that I have bridge in a mode that fix things. I want to be able to use it for Plex serving for, I'm going to show you, I have a new camera set up. It's fantastic. I can do a DVR and now serve it. It's been great. I was on vacation last week. I watched my old home. It was great. Could do it remotely and all because of my Amplimax. Let's go. Bink. Let's see what we get. So again, this is 5G SA. We're doing N41 and N25. This is, well, it should be faster. Boom. 418 was the number to beat. I walked past that. I got 518. That's over 100 megabit up further. I just pulled a 600 earlier, but okay. We're gonna go with, it is what it is, right? Tests are tests. Look at this up. The number to beat was 30 up. This is the same service. You're paying T-Mobile for this service. How well do you wanna get it? That's what it comes down to. This is the, wow, 560 and 160. And that's just stellar. This has been a really cool unit. That is just un heard of. I was getting 418. This is obviously faster. And I was getting 30. And obviously this just smoked it. Very, very good piece of equipment. Can't say enough about it. When you buy this from Haven Technology, Richard comes with it. He's willing to help you. He's made videos on exactly how to set this up. I used the same SIM. This happened to be my T-Mobile SIM that I got for my home internet. I have my business internet. In fact, I have both running at the same time. I'm gonna unplug that and show you real quick. Bing. All right. This is my other Amplimax on the roof with my business SIM now in it. Let's take a look at that. I'm gonna give it a second to look like it's doing what it should be doing. I don't even know what channels this one's getting, but it should respond to the same interface. Let's just F5 it and refresh. All right, I'm getting the same signal. It, woo, look at this. I have one, two, how many bands do I have locked here? One, two, three, four, huh. All right, it's running a different version of firmware, so I can't tell us much about this. I'm gonna have to upgrade this one, but not right now. Let's just speed test this just for fun. This is my business sim. Didn't need to change anything. Let's just speed test it. Again, same rooftop. They're sitting right next to each other. They're less than two feet from each other. Pulled a 28 on a ping. That's kind of nice. Come on. I'll live with the five. Get up there. Really close. Okay. And look, super up. But so you just saw both a business sim that allows for BYOD and home sim. Uh, how to do it? That comes with, uh, you know, Richard's been able to get everything to work on this. Uh, visible <laughs> to... Uh, do you name it? He's able to get, he's a wizard. So he's able to get this stuff to work. And uh, there you go, guys. This has been one fantastic unit. And I'm just thrilled. I have a new box. I can't wait to test out. This is supposed to be a TP Link Omada. And it's supposed to allow multiple WANs. And so we can aggregate them together. Got to see how that works. Anyway, there we go, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Give this thumbs up if it helped out. And if you enjoy seeing shootouts like this, share it with friends, family, dog. <laughs> See you in the next one, guys.